Welcome back again. In this video, we're gonna try to find the solution of this equation, or the solutions of this equation. But first, we need to determine the domain of definition, okay? So we're gonna work on this one here. We're gonna impose the conditions on this uh, left part, and after that, once we find them, we're gonna impose them on x, because we know that x is defined for any value of in r. That means the domain of x is the set of uh, the whole numbers, the set of uh, the all the real numbers. Okay, here uh, the, the the starting is that we we need to determine the domain. The first thing that we need to do, we need to have this one, the square root that's inside defined. That means we need to have one man one minus x is bigger than zero. That means uh, minus x is bigger than minus one, and this means that x is less or equal than one. Okay, so we need to have this condition here in mind when solving. Okay, the next one is that we need to have one minus the one the, the square root of one minus x bigger than zero, with x is less than one. We need to have this one all the time, because this is where this one is defined. Okay, here uh, if we add minus one to both sides, we're gonna have this result, and if we multiply by minus one, we get 1 minus x less than 1. This is positive. We got 1 minus x is less than 1. And adding minus 1 to both sides, we get minus x is less than 0. Multiplying by uh, minus 1, we get x bigger than 0. So we have x bigger than 0 and x is less than 1. This means that x, the domain is uh, 0, 1. Because the intersection of x bigger than 0 and x less than 1 is this part here, 0, 1. So this is our domain here, okay? So now we're gonna try to solve our equation in these conditions. So that means the domain is 0 0.1, that means x is gonna be defined or it uh, has to be in 0, 1 to have solutions, okay? Because we might have not the solutions, not for this equation, but for others. We might have solutions that don't belong to the domain of definition. Okay, now uh, what can we do? Okay, so uh, we know th two things. First, that zero is a, a solution. Zero is a solution. Why? Okay, let's plug zero here. So we have zero on the right side, and the square root of one minus zero, which is the square root of one, and the square root of one is one, and one minus one is zero, and the square root of zero is zero. Therefore, zero satisfies the equation, and it is in the domain of definition, therefore, zero is a solution. Okay, next thing, one is also a solution. Okay, why? Because if we put one here for x, we're gonna get one minus one, zero, and the square root of zero is zero, and one minus zero is one, and the square root of one is one, and one is equal to one. Therefore, we have one is a solution. And more than that, one is in the domain. Next, we're gonna try to find more solutions. How can we do that? So if we try and write one minus the square root of one minus x is x, we can square both sides and solve, okay? But there is another way we can plug x here, keep plugging it over and over, and we're gonna see that we're gonna have something like one minus the square root of one minus one minus the square root of one, etc. Okay, so if this is x, then this one is also x. So we have square root of one minus x is x. Okay, don't forget that x has to be in 0.1. Okay, so we need to have this one, this is crucial. This is where the function is defined. Now, if we square both sides, we get one minus x is x squared. This is positive, so we don't care about the absolute value. Now, we try to solve this one here. We get x squared plus x minus one is zero. Okay, we can use the discriminant here. So delta is gonna be minus one or, uh, or minus one squared minus one times four is five so delta is five so x1 is going to be minus b which is minus one minus square root of five over two and x2 is going to be minus one plus square root of five over two so this one is negative we don't accept that because it's not in 0 0.1 
and this one is the square root of 5 is close to 2 something minus 1 is going to be 0 0.6 something this is in this domain therefore we have this one as a solution now the set of solutions so we have 1 0 1 and minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 are these the only three the solutions yes so because a when we square here we're gonna get a polynomial of a degree three and a polynomial of degree three can have at most three roots three solutions and these are the solutions okay so the key here is noticing this result here or squaring both sides if we square both sides we can get the same thing okay so i leave that to you to check that uh, that one, uh, one i mean when you square it's when you when you square everything you get x squared is one minus square root of one minus x and you get one minus x squared is the square root of one minus x you square everything again and you get one minus x squared is one minus x okay and here uh, uh we can uh see that in this case here uh, we can uh, we can factor out by 1 minus x okay we can factor out by 1 minus x because here 1 minus x squared squared uh, minus 1 minus x is 0 if we factor out by minus x we're gonna get 1 minus x squared times 1 plus x squared minus uh, 1 minus x and here we have 1 minus x times 1 minus x okay and times 1 plus x squared minus 1 okay so 1 is a solution and here we note that 0 is, is a solution okay here here zero is is a solution therefore i can write this one here okay i can write this one here as x times a x square plus b x plus c and i can use identification to find these coefficients when you find these coefficients you're going to see that they relate to this one that you just found and when you solve you're going to find this one try it i didn't try it but uh, i did it before Okay, so try it and you see that we have the same solutions here. Okay, if you see something different, let me know. Thank you very much. Please like, share and subscribe. Okay, if you see any errors or mistakes, please let me know. Thank you.